So this week, a giant sculpture of Liz Truss is set to go up in flames at one of the country's most famous fireworks festivals. The annual Eden Bridge bonfire celebration traditionally has a kind of celebrity effigy, often from the political world, uh, that it burns on its bonfire. Um, Boris Johnson has been one of them. Donald Trump's featured as well uh, in recent years too. Question is, is it in bad taste to use politicians on bonfire night due to the deadly attacks on MPs in recent years? We're joined now by political commentator Lynn May and barrister and former Conservative MP Jerry Hayes. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining Good us morning. this morning. Um, Lynn, if we can start with you, I guess, you know, the whole idea of burning an effigy on a bonfire is Guy Fawkes, famously a political activist at the time, was, was you know, trying to bring down the government and blow up the Houses of Parliament. Why is this any different to that and the origins of burning a guy on the, on the bonfire? Because it was many years ago. Liz Trust is still very present and with us. And we want to be able to attract people to join politics. And this is not the way to go, especially if we look at the political landscape and the economic situation we're facing in our country. For the last couple of years, we have seen utter unrest when it comes to COVID, when it comes to Black Lives Matter. Now we've got Just Oil. And I just think this incites violence. It's not just poor taste. It could actually incite criminal action. So would you rather there was no effigies burnt at all? For example, would you be content if it was Putin, for example, on top of the bonfire? No, I think, I think it's bad to do anyone unless it was someone from the past. Of course, Guy Fawkes, you know, he's not here. Um, like I said, it was a long time ago. But as we even look over the pond and see uh, Nancy Pelosi, her husband was attacked. This is inciting many people to take it a step further. And this is why I think it's not only bad taste, but it's it's not something that we should be doing. At the end of the day, Liz Truss, like I said, she's very much so with us. She's still a politician. She has a family. And I think it's it's absolutely disgusting to, to even consider doing something of this nature. Uh, Jerry, like many sort of uh, rituals, celebrations um, that now feel very family friendly, you know, families getting together to watch some fireworks and um, eat hot dogs or whatever, the actual origins are pretty grim, aren't they? Guy Fawkes was burned because at the time he was the most hated figure in the country and people wanted that hatred kind of made manifest many centuries ago. Is it something we should be doing now at a time when we like to treat or like to think we're a more civilised society and especially as we've seen horrific attacks on members of parliament? Well, it's ridiculous to say that this is going to incite violence. It may be bad taste, but it's good fun and it's harmless fun. It's an escape valve, which makes us probably one of the best democracies in the world. No one is chanting kill Liz Trust and her pet lettuce. No one is taking to the streets with their pitchforks. What they're doing is just saying our politicians are ridiculous. And you don't get more ridiculous than Liz Trust. Well, apart from Jacob rees Bolson, Morgan, Boris Johnson, take the mickey out of them because it couldn't happen in Iran. It couldn't happen in China and it couldn't happen uh, in Russia. So come on, it's harmless fun. It's an escape valve for people. Please, Lynn, don't be such a killjoy. No, well, I, as a barrister, I don't know your area of law, but could you define Fine. what inciting, inciting, um, inciting violence is? Would you not say this is the first step to inciting violence, especially as we've seen, you know, even some of our own politicians being attacked? Do you not think with how many people are probably emotionally unstable and emboldened on social media, this is then going to encourage them to do that step further? Well, I'm going to do something which I don't normally do. I'm going to give you some free legal advice. <laughs> now, I, I know, I know. Hold, hold, hold the front page. <laughs> the fact is, I've been a criminal barrister for 45 years, and my my free legal, legal advice is: I'm sorry, Lynn, it doesn't go where anywhere near inciting violence. If they'd said, "Let's kill Liz Truss and her pet lettuce." Yeah, of course, but it's not like that. It's Do you not a, think that would come into play? Burn, burning an effigy would not come into play where people will be empowered to say, you know, we see this as a representation uh, of killing no, this trust. Do you not think? No, 
No, I don't. It's harmless fun. It's harmless fun. No more than that. And thank heavens we can ridicule our politicians. As I said, you can't do it elsewhere. But you see, there's so much faux outrage, pretend outrage at, at everything. So many microaggressions, such a, a feeling in the country. I'm afraid, Lynn, from people like you, they want to ban everything. No. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm quite the opposite. I'm quite the opposite. I do agree that we need to, you know, do away with all these sensitivities and microaggressions. However, even last week, you saw someone bombing the, um, the migrant camp, and I just think we're at a place at the moment oh. where a lot of people are very, very heightened and emotional. Yes, I know, but they're going to let off steam in a lovely family way with their kids, their two-year-olds, their ten-year-olds. So they're, they're how, how would you feel? How house. would you feel if they did an effigy of you and your children, or maybe grandchildren, saw that? How would you feel feel about that? I think, wow, what fantastic publicity! And also, <laughs> <laughs> there's always an angle. Oh, that's a lawyer for you. Yeah, there's, oh, there's always an angle. <laughs> Lynn, uh, Jerry, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. A vigorous debate, which is always interesting. I Lots suspect Lynn might have given uh, Jerry's children or <laughs> children an idea <laughs> now, so we'll have to see. Lots Thank of you people. To, you. Lots of people agreeing with Lynn, though. To be fair, they don't agree. Graham says I don't agree with Liz Trust on a lot of things, but I think burning uh, her is not the way to do it. Tom says isn't the burning of Guy Fawkes a political effigy? All burning of uh, is pretty questionable. No effigies being burned on bonfire night should be the case. Uh, Grit says I can't stand Liz Trust, but burning an effigy of a living politician just feels irresponsible yeah. right now.